Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. Now, people have been meeting up to take pictures of their surroundings since the ancient Chinese and Greeks invented the camera. And since then, cameras have evolved and so have the means we have to share them. One thing has not changed, however. Photographers around the world still meet up to take pictures. And more recently, we've taken to social media to share our pictures. So Instagram used the one constant to give, connect to those who share the passion and of photography. Exactly. This, I mean, this is very exciting. I called it a, a kind of a phenomenon earlier yeah. on the show because it's something <laughs> that grew so exponentially fast over the past few years. And I mean, Instagram introduced Instameets, all right, in 2010. Wow. And this weekend was uh, the 11th worldwide Instameet where these Instagrammers got together and just t took these amazing photos of their surroundings, actually. Wow. And we, of course, we know how Instagram has just taken the world yeah. by storm. So they get together, they take amazing photos, and they make massive memories of them. I mean, the very first one that we've got is we've got uh, people made up to take pictures all around the world in cities like London, in Paris, in Tokyo. Um, yeah. And it's like, it's completely amazing what they come up with once they're actually there. Exactly. But I mean, it is, was the worldwide and so even exactly. the smaller cities took place. I mean, we talk about cities like Jakarta, um, Cologne in Germany, and also Semarang in Indonesia, which yeah. was great. So, I mean, the pictures that come out of these places, I can just imagine, especially for the smaller cities, yeah. I mean, there's great things to be captured as well. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Because I think it really does give you a love for the place that you're at. And some of them have different focuses. Like, for instance, um, you can focus on architecture like the guys did in Chicago. Ago. Then guys in Germany mm. did the German Haas Mountains and they focused on landscapes. So whatever you decide to focus on, you really can highlight a particular place too. Exactly. But I mean, South Africans, uh, we, we're not just going to sit back and let this pass us by. Never. Of course not. I mean, we joined well, in the fun. Um, Cape Town actually hosted four Instameets. I mean, yeah. there was one in, um, in Cape Town, Musenberg, UCT and also in the Urferberg. And um, one of them was an overnight camping instrument at Tierwaterskloof Dam, wow. which is beautiful. If you know the Tierwaterskloof yeah. Dam, you come down over Franschuk Pass and you just overlook this beautiful, beautiful lake. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Beautiful. That is Look amazing. At that. And of yeah. course, Joburg and Pretoria, Durban, PE also pulled out all the stops when they had a successful instrument that was hosted too. So, I mean, everyone's getting involved. Everyone's in hi highlighting their cities. And, and that's awesome. I think that's also going to help the world of tourism as well. Yeah. People don't necessarily want to see the big advertising push. They want to see how you and I connect Perceive with a particular it. place, and that's the most important thing. Absolutely. Well, we're talking about these, these Instameets, Cape Town, Inst uh, uh, Cape Town Instameet, or South African Instameet for, uh, specifically. Um, uh, we, uh, South Africans really took their own spin when it came to the Instameets, and uh, they decided to not only showcase the beautiful pictures and yeah. you know scenic surroundings that we have, but also do it for a good cause. For instance, it was Water Week this past weekend. They focused on, on raising awareness around uh, water, and also a little while back, we joined a couple of Instagrammers yeah. um, for their Instameet in terms of you know cleaning up around Table Mountain and Lion's Head as well. So, Let's quickly take a look at what went down at those instameets.